here we go. Let's hope for the best. Let's see some competitive Splatoon 3 play. It's gonna be Axel in Orbit, and uh, mm. Axel will be in the light blue, and the pink will be Orbit. We got an aggressive comp coming out from Axel versus the less so one from Orbit. Yeah, okay. With the E leader and the flings up. Longest range for Axel is gonna be the machine. Interestingly enough, look at Kabi, Kabi with the E leader. On scope, 4K. See what Orbit can do. Let's learn about these teams as well. See how they play. As Kabi is gonna kind of support this right side. Let's see what they can do. They do see the flank and does get the flick. The close range play there. They're gonna pick up the Rainmaker and try for a little checkpoint. They broke through the checkpoint, so now the pressure is on. But it looks like they've cleared out the push as, uh, I mean, they went two down immediately after. Alright, the machine's gonna go down. Elo with the splatter shot. I guess, yeah. Here's the play, here's the counter push. And there's a full on wipeout! Here's the checkpoint! Are they... Axelt, right? Okay. I think. <laughs> I was trying to think. I was gonna say, it seemed like <laughs> they're uh, the Rainmaker. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, three specials at the ready, though, on the defense. That will be the lead. Oh, they got the jump! Nice play. All the way to 32, they got jumped on the ledge. They're gonna push for some more, but they're gonna immediately go down. And it's gonna be three down for Axel. And here comes the counter. Let's get control. Orbit needs some control. Some more pink on the map. What the heck was that? <laughs> what the heck? The ghost, the ghost of the pink ink. That's what it looked like on my, from my point of view. Uh, I think that was the Flingza painting over the, oh. the top of the It just wall. looked like it, it appeared <laughs> out of nowhere. That was crazy. Um, yeah. Okay. So actually, they got... Did they just get the lead off that? Dude. Oh, and more pressure! The Zooka is going to trade out, though. Okay, but like, look at the map. It's all pink. Look, Looking good for Orbit. Let's see if they can get some more points and kind of try to seal the deal, although we're only halfway through the game, so the Rainmaker is going to reset. We're going to, you know, basically go back to a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, you know, first to, first to dunk, basically. Mm -hmm. Good pushes from both teams so far. With a close match. The whale coming out. Pestering the whale. They're gonna get some push up, and here comes Axel. Maybe they do have the Rainmaker. It's gonna be one. They're just sharking and gonna pop the big bubble. As the Rainmaker jumps in, they're gonna get secure the kill and then jump back out. But there goes the lead! A great push, a great lead down to 19. Let's see if they can do some more. You're gonna get some more points. Right next to the pedestal! Oh man, so close. Yet so far, but that's a great push, even if that's all they get. All the way down to six. The junior, I think, it they were I mean it was a good definitely a good idea, obviously. Sharking to wait for the Rainmaker to come up and you know easily slap them and get the stop but i feel like they were waiting a little too far back they let the rainmaker push up a little too far and that just you know they stopped the rainmaker yes but they were easily able to just take it back right back up yeah, and maybe, continue the push maybe could have got a little bit more pressure not had to jump out i mean you pick up the one kill and they I and mean, they they seem to have decided in their head that they were going to jump out after they got that kill mm -hmm. There's a trade from the Rainmaker and the opposing player. It's going to be Axolt in the light blue once again. Um, they do have the lead, and it's going to be up to Orbit to kind of get some pressure. They do have the Wave Breaker out in mid. They do have, I mean, the Flingza to help with that. I mean, they, maybe they need the Junior to kind of shark around, get some kills, but there, there's a 2v1 situation going to be... Taken out by the machine on the side of Axolt. So now they're kind of getting control with under 30 seconds remaining. Still being aggressive. Which you do like to see to keep the pressure off. Push them back into their plat. 
Let's see what Orbit can do. Azuka comes out, Wave Breaker out. Starting to use specials, trying to do something. Big bubbler, but all the specials are happening in mid, so will they have enough to get all the way to past six? It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be tough. It's a 2v2 situation now. Kabi, the E-leader, has the Rainmaker. Getting pressured by the Zuka. Getting pressured by some more close range. Some flanks here on the right side. Rainmaker having to evade. You gotta watch out. It looks like their teammates are going down, though. This is a matter of time before this game is gonna be ending. Let's see if Axel can get in. They do. They're gonna come in and corner the Rainmaker and take the game one. It seemed like they were using a lot of specials there at the end, understandably, trying to get a push forward, but it just wasn't It wasn't doing too much. So it was doing a pretty good job of just avoiding, you know, they were just letting them use their specials, and then they just backed up a little. They weren't pushing forward into the specials. But with that said, it will be a chance to counterpick for Orbit. The teams, I mean, they just decided to skip clams. I mean, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I mean, they still have to play it, because we're going to go to a game three, but... You know, it's it's a mix-up, you don't want to waste more time, so we'll move on to Splatsons next. Alright, so... Axult, in the yellow. Orbit, with the counterpick, in the purple, they bring out the blah blah blobber. Blah blobber, lobbing lawful blobs against the double machines. Double machines is gonna be... Kind of a lack of pain in a sense, but then you have the junior to make up for that and also the, the dually squelchers, so we'll see how that works. We'll see if they can get some more kill power with that double machine composition. As we start off with Axolts, going to be taking the zone. They're gonna get a kill with the dually squelcher on the side here. Two down for Orbit. Let's see if they can keep control. They do. The Booyah Bomb is gonna push these last two players back, the Blob Lobber. Over here with the junior. The junior's gonna go down. And the machine, not quite getting the kill. The jump out is gonna be set in. And then let's see what uh, Orbit can kind of do to get out of this situation. Although they're gonna die to a bomb. They're gonna put out the way. Another bomb kill. They're insane. The <laughs> Axel keeping Orbit at bay just with seemingly bombs alone <laughs> on their plat. <laughs> it's, I mean you can reach with bombs, then might as well do it. You don't necessarily have to put yourself at risk. You just poke from far away. But, I mean, there you go. You put yourself at risk there as a machine. It's going to be only one down. Let's see if they can get maybe another kill. Oh, three down now! Let's see if they can get the cap onto the zone. They're going to get the final kill in a delayed wipeout, and there is the cap for orbit now. Let's see if they can come back all the way to five. That's a clutch cap onto the zone. Nearly a knockout by Axelt. And look at the pressure. Can they get the indirect again? They're gonna have their teammate come from behind and help out. Seemed like they ran out of Ink Riot at that moment too, so a good uh, coming in for your teammate there. Yeah, unfortunately you can put more pressure to try and keep the zone. It's gonna be the E-leader letting the plays come to them. But, I mean, this is not good. They do jump out in time. Good on them. But can they hold the zone? That will be the question. It is contested at the moment. They're going to get the ink cloud on, onto the zone. You know who looks like can hold the zone. The Blob Lobber using both Rain, the Blob, and the Sprinkler. I mean, the Blobs are just going in. They're just insane. Painting all over the map. But will they be able to do it alone? <laughs> it seems like, yeah, they're just the only one painting. For the team and see they are gonna lose the cap so they're gonna accumulate a little penalty there let's see now if axel can keep hold of the zone or will orbit try and get it back well they're gonna try it's just a matter of will they get it there's to counter the booyah bomb they have the wave breaker onto the zone let's see if they're able to push forward they do have a little fight between looks like the dually sculpture and the machine on that left side there some more pressure being put on this other machine. They're gonna drop down, let's see. A lot of ink advantage, let's see if the machine can get the kill. They're gonna get the trade, so maybe something going. A slight contest of the zone, but it's gonna go back to Axolt. Oh, a nice jumping kill to get the long-ranged E-leader. 
and I mean the paint, the work that Alex is putting in with the blob water, blobber painting the zone. All those little bubbles just bouncing around the map. Allows them to cap again, so just over a minute remaining in the match. Let's see what Elo can do. Gonna actually go and get a kill. Oh, they got the kill! And they got another one! The Zuka plays! I thought they were, they were crazy just going into a random corner with a Zuka with no map or a paint control on their feet. They end up getting two kills and not dying out of it. Insane plays and here you come. Getting down to close. If they can keep the zone here, this might be the lead. Potentially the game because that's close to knocking out. The Booyah Bomb comes on the zone, but are they going to get there in time to stop it? Let's see. Kabi on the zone with the E-Leader. They're going to contest, but can they get the cap? They will get it. A clutch defensive play. They get onto the zone for Axolt. The flank able to distract the E-Leader from the front and sort of collapse into onto the zone from both sides there. Kind of doing, I mean, doing a lot of work with not a lot of map control. And there they go, the dangerous Zuka again, coming out from Elo. Two down, one person advantage, they can get the cap. They get the, the, the wipeout, okay. But you have so much to time left in the game, they have to control for so long and they can't lose it. Or else they're gonna lose the game. So let's see the machine trying to poke with bombs all the way back in like the spawn area, booyah bombing. That's the, the value of the machine's kit. You could just pressure all the way from back there. Now they're coming in. Potential cap here could seal the deal for Axolt. Let's see, two down for Orbit, not looking good. There it is, the cap and Axolt. We'll take game two as well, leading now two to zero. Unfortunately, they couldn't get the lead off that. Um, and once they didn't get the lead, the, the penalty is just insurmountable for them to come back in that situation. Good on uh, mm -hmm. Axel uh, for being able to get the cap eventually. They got two down. And we will finally head to Clan Blitz. Uh. Ooh. 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 Let's see what Orbit can do, alright? They need a win. They need a reverse sweep to head to Winner's Finals. If Axel wins though, they're gonna be the ones right into Winner's Finals. And here we go with Axolt's um, I believe that was purple if I saw that, or blue, okay. A and then Orbit in the orange. Double machine. Orbit. Is this the same comp from last game? Euler, Blob. Yeah, I believe Junior, so. Junior, T Tech. Not T Tech, but basically T Tech. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> yes, it is Splatoon 1 T Tech. And even, I mean, even Splatoon 2, people always call the Swatter Shot T Tech. Just, just because of how common it was in Splatoon 1. But let's see. I mean, I like that they've got a lot of clams right now on the side of Orbit in the orange. Potentially can get some picks with the Zuka. Let's see what they got in store. They do throw the Wave Breaker in front. They're going to get a pick here in mid. So they do have the man advantage here. Lob Lobber the blobs, the bubbles going along the grates there into the enemy team spawn. No score yet. Looks like the junior has uh, a lot of clams and the, and the E leader has a, a football on hand. But here come Elo. Looks like they're in a tough situation with like three of the opposing team around them and the Wavebreaker and the bomb. They're still alive for just a moment, but wow. I'm not sure where their teammates were at, um, but it looks like they're all dead. In a three down situation, a oh. uh, full, oh, and a DC. Technically, if they stop playing, this is a replay situation. Yeah, let's see if they- I don't know, looks like they- Do- There's the one person to playing. Continue. Oh, it looks like, it looks like they're stopping now. Okay, all right, that's fair, that's a replay. I don't know what the junior is doing though. And we will reset. Back to game three. Clam Blitz on Scorcha Gorgia. It's gonna be Axel in that light blue. And the orange will be Orbit. Orbit needs to fight. 
win the game to stay alive in order to go to the winner's finals. If not, we will have them in, I believe, the, the loser's quarterfinals. Alright, to start off, the junior's gonna go down. Two down now, it's a 3v2 situation in favor of Axel. They're pretty close here, if they had a power clan they would have been able to score that, but not quite yet. Kabi on the E leader is going to need to at least go on the right side to back up, and there's the first score. Here's some clams. Let's see if they can get anything more than the power. It looks like they got two power clams in. Two down situation. Looks like they're not going to be able to continue the push, but to start off, 60 not too shabby. Busy Bomb coming out here. Wave Breaker's gonna come out. Let's see, it's gonna be that's gonna be the Dooley Squelchers Wave Breaker. And the Blob Lover showing I mean showing that it can really ink them out very well in the past few games. As well as just like, you know, help support teammates, but look at that kill. Almost like a two or three v1 situation there. Two v2 now? Not much happening in mid quite yet. Looks like a couple people responding. Looks like collecting clams here. Does have the big bubble, so one more clam can kind of prop it up the big bubble and try to get a, another score going if they would like to do that. Or they maybe wait for an even bigger advantage, looks like, over here. Orbit's going to get a kill and then go down. Orbit not really playing too aggressively at the moment. Gonna go a few down, and there is the big bubble placed in front of the clam blast basket, and there's a booyah bomb to help out, and there you go, the penalty has been erased. Another booyah bomb comes in from the double machine comp, and they're going to get a direct, another direct. They're gonna try and hop over the wave breaker, but they're gonna get taken out by the E leader. And they don't get any extra points off that, they just cut down the penalty to 10 instead of 20. Junior here is already gotten quite a few kills, I think, from just throwing bombs to the other team. Yeah, I'm not sure where Orbit is, honestly. I... Are they... I don't know what they're doing at the moment. But here they go. I mean, it seems like there's, they're not coming too far out of spawn. Uh, am I wrong about this? Looks like the Zooka's gonna try and get something going. They need some sort of map control. Uh, they need to play a little bit more, you know, with a, some more urgency as they are down 2-0 and this could be the final game of the set. I mean, now you have kind of pushed them back over in the corner here, so that's good. Potentially a special to take them out. We'll see. Elo trying to do some work, but it's gonna go down to a machine. They have two of them, so you're gonna... <laughs> get hit a lot. Oh, a double kill with the bomb! Could this spark something? Three down? Wipeout! Three up! This is Orbit's chance to push forward and let's see what they do with it. A crazy double bomb kill may be the spark they needed to get back in this set. I think they need a little something in front. A little bit more aggression, maybe. Uh, I mean, the Zooka player... Here he goes, Elo on the splatter shot. Um, was going in, they are the last one, and they're kind of just running around in the enemy team's base, but they are now going to get taken out. But I, I was going to say that, I mean, the Zuka would have been very good if they had more pressure in front. I think they needed a little bit more pressure in front of the E leader, because it looked like the E leader was the furthest in at that point. They needed one more clam to get a power clam there, and looks like they weren't able to get it. And it looks like there is going to be another DC on orbit. Unfortunately, that was their only replay, and it is too late anyways in the set. Yep, and the there's game. the cap, and this might just be it. Well, I mean, it's most likely it's uh, with the DC, and also um, now being <laughs> you know, down a bunch of points, all the way down to 38. So it looks like Axel will end up winning the set. And they'll move on to winner's final, so we will see some more of Axel. Interested to see who they will play.
Um, I mean, we will get a little overtime here. So, let's see what they do with it. Let's see how much fight and grit they really have. Uh, even being with down one player and now down another player. Uh, as their blah 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 goes down. But there is the broken barrier. And, you know, you just like to see people trying hard. Even when, you know, it's like a 99.9% .9 chance you're going to lose. Um, you know, still fighting it out to the last second. Love to see it. But you also hate to see <laughs> that they have to go down to loser's bracket now. So it will be Axolt taking the set 3-0. And we'll get ready for their winner's finals match against uh, either Expresso or uh, her loss.